Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 2.5 tree diagram. 2.5 represents chapter 2, section 5 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Applied Maths Year 2 textbook. I'm going to start this teaching video by explaining the important features of a tree diagram. So over here, I've got a tree diagram. We have first pick and we have second pick. Now for the first pick, we have two events, A and not A. For the second pick, we have branches coming out of the event A. So these two branches are conditioned upon the event A taking place. And we have branches coming out of the event not A. These two branches are conditioned upon the event not A taking place. This branch over here represents probability A. This branch represents probability not A. This branch represents probability B, given that the event A has taken place. This one represents probability not B, given that A has taken place. This one represents probability B, given that not A has taken place. This one represents probability not B, given that not A has taken place. Suppose we want to calculate the probability of A intersect B from the tree diagram. All we need to do, ladies and gents, is go across the branch A, which represents probability A, multiplied by go across the branch B, which represents probability B given A. So these are the important concepts of a tree diagram. Let's have a look at an exam style question. A bag contains six green beads and four yellow beads. A bead is taken from the bag at random. The colour is recorded and it is not replaced. Okay, so the key element of the question is not replaced. So we know that in our second pick, the sample size is going to get reduced by one. A second bead is taken from the bag and it's colour recorded. Given that both beads are the same colour, find the probability that they are both yellow. Firstly, ladies and gents, I'm going to draw a tree diagram. G1 represents the event that the first pick is a green. Y1 represents the event that the first pick is a yellow. G2 represents the event that the second pick is a green. Y2 represents the event that the second pick is a yellow. The probability that the first pick is a green will be 6 out of a possible 6 plus 4, which is 10. So 6 out of 10. Hence, the probability that the first pick is a yellow will be 4 out of 10. The probability that the second pick is a green, given that the first pick is a green, will be 5 out of 9. We have one less green bead, okay, so it will be 5 out of a possible 9 because the sample size gets reduced by 1. The probability that the second pick is a yellow, given that the first pick is a green, will therefore be 4 out of 9. The probability that the second pick is a yellow, given that the first pick is a yellow, will be 3 out of 9. We have one less yellow bead. Hence, 3, and the sample size gets reduced by 1. Hence, 9. 3 out of 9. Therefore, the probability that our second pick is a green, given that the first pick is a yellow, will be 6 out of 9. So that there is my complete tree diagram. Now, I want to work out the probability that they are both yellow given that both beads are the same colour. So both being yellow represents the set Y1 and Y2, or you could say Y1 intersect Y2. Uh, both beads being the same colour represents the set G1 and G2. The first pick is a green and the second pick is a green. Or Y1 and Y2. The first pick is a yellow and the second pick is a yellow. Okay, so this represents both beads being yellow and this represents both beads being the same colour. So we want to work out the probability of both beads being yellow given that both beads are the same colour.
Okay, so if we apply the conditional probability formula on this, we get that this is equivalent to probability y1 and y2 intersect g1 and g2 or y1 and y2 all over the probability g1 and g2 or y1 and y2. Now we see that the intersection between these two events will just be y1 and y2. That is the overlap. So this set over here reduces to the set y1 and y2. Okay, y1 and y2 is the intersection of these two sets. All over the probability of g1 and g2 or y1 and y2. So let's first of all work out the probability in the numerator. The probability of y1 and y2. So we go across the branch y1 which is 4 over 10 and we multiply by going across the branch y2 which is 3 over 9 all over okay now in the denominator we've got an or so that or represents a plus we're going to be adding individual probabilities let's first of all work out the probability of g1 and g2 so we go across the branch g1 which is 6 out of 10 multiplied by go across the branch g2 which is 5 out of 9 or represents plus y1 go across the branch y1 which is 4 out of 10 multiplied by y2 go across the branch y2 which is 3 out of 9 so if I calculate this my answer is 2 over 7 so ladies and gents I've got my tree diagram and I have calculated the probability that both beads are yellow given that both beads are the same color. If you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe.